Hey! It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey! Hi, Lane! <laughs> I don't own the rights to this music. However, you know that's Dougie Fresh and the show. And so tonight, on this very night, we are going to make um, do it yourself rose oil for Valentine's Day. So let's get right into it. I'm going to turn uh, my camera around. I'm going to be uh, showing you what we're going to make tonight. I'm totally excited about this um, DIY because guess what? Valentine's is coming up. And you may have a loved one, you may have a significant other, and you know, it's COVID, a lot of people do not want to go out and venture out, but there are things that you can do at um. home to reflect your love. <laughs> so, since you're reflecting your love with one another, this is what I would suggest, is make a body massage oil. And it is so easy to make, we're gonna do it tonight. And so let's get into it. I like using just a few simple ingredients that are effective and make sense. Now, the first ingredient that I want to introduce to you is grape seed oil. These are things that you probably have in your kitchen, so it'll be very easy for you to duplicate tonight. And if not, you can put it on your supermarket list. So that is the grapeseed oil. I want to tell you about grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is really a, used as a carrier oil for a lot of fragrances. But the one thing about this particular oil, which makes it really good, is the fact that, guess what? It is very absorbent into the pores. So you're going to get the benefits of that grapeseed oil. Why? Because it's very absorbent. The second oil that I'm going to use is a coconut oil. It is called MCT. MCT you can get from the supermarket. And I will tell you, um, the MCT that um, basically is coconut oil, and the reason why I use MCT is because you get the benefits of the coconut, but you don't get the greasiness. So it makes it, your skin nice and smooth. It's very absorbable as well. And the last oil that I'm going to use is my rose hip oil. Rose hip oil works wonders on acne, on, you know, so it will help if there's any acne, any type of blemishes. Rose hip oil is a really, really good oil to add to this massage oil um, DIY. And the last ingredient, oh no, one more ingredient after this, rosemary oil. Rosemary, you can get at the supermarket. Everything that I'm talking about tonight can be picked up at the supermarket. Maybe not the rosehip oil, but you can definitely substitute it for sweet almond oil or even, uh, which would be another good one. Yeah, sweet almond oil would be really good or vitamin E, which you can get the capsules at the supermarket. So everything that I'm talking about can be used at the super, get, uh, gotten at the supermarket. And again, this is the rosemary oil. You're just gonna, we're gonna use a little drop of that. But this is the best part. We're gonna use rose petals. Now, these rose petals, I literally got because I had roses here. And um, I had gotten some flowers starting off Valentine's early. And so what I did was when it was time to get rid of the plant, I just held back my petals. And so just a little tip, make sure when they dry, they dry out to this dark red. That lets you know that they're fully dried. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you use petals and they're a little um, brown, that means that it dried all the way and you don't want your oil to get moldy. Ugh, yuck. So let's get started. So we already have, and I'm going to turn the camera around so we can get right into, there we go, the tutorial. I'm going to uh, move this here so you can see. There goes my glass, right? And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use also a Pyrex, just one, uh, Pyrex, uh, when we're done to pour it into 
one of these. Now, this you can probably go to like Walmart and get, you know, the travel size um, kits. Well, this isn't, these are actually uh, travel kits that I make these, but you can go to Walmart and actually get um, some of these type of bottles in the uh, pharmacy section, health and beauty aid section. So let's get started. So I am one of those people that I just pour. I'm Jamaican, I just pour. Some people say I pour till the ancestors tell me to stop. <laughs> Either way, that's how we're doing it tonight. So let's see here. That's my oil, my first oil. Now, for that oil, I'm going to, that was a grapeseed oil. I'm gonna put some more in and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Once I put this grapeseed oil in, I'm going to take some of these flowers, petals, and I'm gonna actually put the flower petals into the oil. You see that? Because I want them to begin to absorb, okay? Then I'm going to take my Pyrex. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna take my Pyrex, and I'm going to pour a quarter cup. Uh, yep, a quarter cup into the Pyrex of my coconut oil. And remember, this is MCT, so it won't be greasy. You can actually put use um, coconut oil in the shower and you won't slip and fall. It's amazing, I really, really do like it. And then we're going to, we're gonna pour out the rest of this. I have to open up another bottle. This is the rosehip oil. We're gonna pour all of it in. There we go. And that really was probably about an eighth of a cup. Not even, actually. It was like two tablespoons, which is cool. You don't have to use a lot. Rosehip oil is a little bit thicker of the oils. And so as you can see right here, it's kind of melding. And then the rosemary. The reason we're using rosemary is because we want to break bacteria, right? We want to break the bacteria. We don't want bacteria. So this helps with breaking bacteria and fungus. Rosemary, really good. Hey, Angie, welcome to the Pink Vanity. Now, here's the best part. I'm gonna put my gloves on, actually. And I apologize, I should've put my gloves on earlier. I'm just glad that the oils, there's nothing, anything that I really had to touch. So, now that we're getting into the good and plenty <laughs> of it all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this container. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take some of the oil rose petals that I have here. I'm just going to drop some in. I'm going to drop some in. But I'm going to take the rose petals that we actually put in the uh, grapeseed oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour that into here. And pour that in, that's good. Now that I've done that, now I'm going to actually pour the oil and the rose petals into that clear container. Hopefully you can see, yep. Whoa, I should have broke down that rose petal a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, let me take that out, and here we go. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to close it up, and this is what we're going to do. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. 
And this is what we're going to do with this. We're going to literally put it in a dark, cool place for about a week. And what's going to happen with this oil is it is literally going to uh, break down the fragrances of the rose. There's going to be a, the softness that you're used to on the rose petals. That is going to be uh, released while the actual oils and the rose petals infuse with one another. Let's see if I have some extra here. And it already smells so good. I mean, the rosemary brings out the fragrance of the rose petals. Believe it or not, that's another reason why the, um, the rosemary is the perfect oil to use. And again, you can get rosemary at the supermarket. I get them from, uh, I don't, let's see, uh, rosemary. You can also get rosemary from your, um, if you know someone who sells oils. I think I have another big petal here. I need to just move out the way. We're almost done. I'm short of oil, so I'm going to add some grapeseed oil to that. But it smells so good already. I can't believe it. It smells so good. And it's not even, it hasn't even cured yet. So we're going to let it cure, ladies and gentlemen, for about a week. And this will be right on time for Valentine's Day. This is what it looks like. And for those who watch tonight, not including Angela because you're in Jamaica, <laughs> DM me. I am going to send you a bottle. If you'd like a bottle, I am going to send it to you for Valentine's Day. That's my gift from me to you. Only thing I ask of you to do is to go on my YouTube page. And my YouTube page is Beachy Pal. Go on the YouTube page and subscribe. I don't have subscribers on that page, and I'm trying to build it up. So, Helene, if you don't mind going on that page, subscribing, hit me a DM. I'm sending this out to you. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I really love making body oils. Body oils are so awesome. I don't sell these online. However, you are more than welcome to hit me up, and I'll get this to you at no cost, Helene. You all have a great night, and God bless you. And thanks again for coming to the Pink Vanity. Yay! What? Put your bellies on. Because I need a shoe horn. Because the shoes always hurt my corn. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh. I had to do that. That was my father's favorite part. <laughs> God bless.